Wow, the most important lessons. Mm. Well, 43 years of marriage, obviously we've learned a few things. I've, um, I've learned to be married 43 years, you better have a great sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> that is one thing I've learned. Yeah. Uh, I think for me, I, I was um, in a really bad car accident when I was 16 years old and had to have eight years of reconstructive surgery because I lost half my face and um, had to have a lot of it put back together. So when you're a young girl in high school, and let me remind you in high school, uh, you, you, so many things in your life are based on how you look and, and just things that as you get older, you learn don't matter as much. What does much. everybody think of you? Yes, you know, and you know, a boy's gonna like me this week, which you find out when your face gets all demolished, they don't very quickly, you know, they don't like you so much anymore. Uh, but you know, I learned to read what was important. And I learned that family's important. I learned that the people that love you are important and that your support system's important. And that those sorts of, the, the other things are, are fluff in life and and they're wonderful to have and it's wonderful you know to be worried about what clothes you wear or how your hair is or you know your makeup or any of those things but bottom line at the end of, when it's all said and done what's going to matter most is your family uh, because you know your friends will come in and out of your lives and I, I spend a lot of time talking with young people who've been hurt like I was hurt and, uh, and, and talking to them because when you're high school or younger, especially high school, when your self-image is evolving and you're trying to figure out who you are, and I know you think you know everything by the time you're 18, but you know your life is truly just beginning. <laughs> um, you, you think your world has ended when, when something like that happens to you. You feel that, um, that you know your life will never be quite the same you know or when the boys that you liked or were dating spurn you because now they can't look at you uh, they don't and uh, let me tell you why that is their self-image doesn't know how to handle it yeah, young true. people don't know what to say or do and it's only because of that but when you're that young, you take it personally and you think, oh, it's me and it's, the, it's because I look badly and, and I'm more deformed now because they, it takes some years to fix you and to get you looking normal again. So you look, you know, people stare at you. Children are wonderful because they're so carefree and because and they'll look at you and they'll say, what happened? You know, where somebody who's older diverts their eyes and are afraid to even look you in the eye because I was very sensitive and I've always told you this. I said, if somebody has a deformity or an issue, look them in the eye, look them straight in the eye constantly because they need to be validated for the person they are, not because of something that's standing Amen. between you and who they are.